Righty guys, so we're back out here on Faust again. I've got my dad on board today. Um, again, working those jerk baits for those shallow feeding fish. Um, we had a bit of a tough session with the boys yesterday. A lot of the fish were hanging deep. I've missed two fish or dropped two fish. And I've actually already dropped a fish this morning. So we're just going to keep working. Uh, a lot of fish are just sitting up in the crowns of these trees. Um, we're in a really timbered area up in the river arm here and um, they're sitting. The fish that we've found to, to get to eat are the ones that are sitting up nice and high. So we'll just keep poking away. Um, it's good to have Daddy out here today um, to see if we can get on, him onto a fish as well. So we'll see uh, We'll see how we roll. Have you got a slow point or is it just twitches and slowly winds? So basically I don't wind anything with me reel. Cast it out. Three cranks. Yeah. And then just keep the slack like that and just wind the slack up. So you're not actually winding the lure at all. You're only winding the slack. You're really just banging it like that. You don't want to be moving it fast. You don't want to be racing it from where you cast it to here. You want to try and yeah, you want to just try and hang it there for as like long as you can because it takes them a bit to actually yeah, they, they want to follow it for a bit. Otherwise it just gets away from them and they just you know Got him. Got him. Oh, not another one. Not another one. Ah, <sighs> right, man. Oh, he choked it too. He choked that. What do you mean? Look at that. Oh, yeah. He had it down. Somehow he managed to spit the bastard back out again. Oh. He flew out of this spindly tree just here and ate it. Yeah. Oh, man. Can't win a trick. Ones that are perched up high and feeding, they'll travel several metres to come and eat you. You don't have to have it right on. Too close to us now. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Right under the boat. <laughs> He's hungry on this one. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> they're hungry, they're hungry. Oh, jeez, I can go. I can move when they want it, like. They really know how to motor.
I can't believe he ate that right under the boat. I just dropped it down to him and just twitched it there. Coming over this side again. There he is. Right, he's gonna go again. All right, mate, all right. Get around this side then. You got him. You got him. <laughs> oh, nice fish too. Pink eye? Yeah. He's got pink eye. <laughs> Oh, there you go, bloody got one. Go, he's biting down already. Oh yeah, he's chewing down on his thumb. Another cracking fish. Worked pretty hard for him today. We've been out here for a couple of hours and Drop two, so it's really good to um, get one on board and it's ready to go. So we'll send him. Good on you, mate. Go. Cool. Yeah, how about that? Another cracking Peter Faust Barra. Like I said, we are working fairly hard, but um, they're here. They're here to catch, so. We'll just keep ticking away. We're just coming into that moon above. So hopefully we're in for a bit of a bite for the next couple of hours. So we'll keep going. Yeah, definitely a few around. Yeah, see that one there? Mm -hmm. It's just one of those transams. You just drop it down and just bounce it up and down. Oh, that's insane. We'll just sit it here if you want. This fish through there, I'm in trouble. Got him! Got him! Oh, yes! There you go, it does work. Still coming? Still coming. Oh, he's running. <laughs> I'll go over to him. He looked like a good fish, too. Watch the other dive under the boat here. Step up later. Where is he now? That's all right. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> Got some go. This is going to be a big one. 
Just watch he doesn't dive under that boat. And if he does, just dive that rod tip in. That electric motor's off at the minute. Yep, he's under the boat. Get the rod down. Get the rod down. You'll hit the you'll hit the side of the boat and he'll snap you off. Oh. Right down, right down, right down. He's going to come out the other side of the boat. Yeah, you're right. That's it. Be a good fish this one. Oh, he doesn't want to give up. Oh, he's deep for profit, isn't he? Somewhere. Well, that's how they jig them. Yeah. <laughs> Shoo, he's back under, wouldn't he? Yep. Oh, I'll take a lap too, I've worn it. Yeah. yeah. Like working it up the water column. Yeah. Yeah, right, yeah. I think that might be a bit of a trick because I think when you let it sort of bounce back down on them again, they spook. Where if you keep it coming. Yeah, it's going and digging. Yeah, okay. Gonna go close to a meter that fish, Dad. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Look, he just grew then, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> hey, he just grew then. Let's see what you've got. He's almost there. What have we got? Uh, he's 95. 95. Yeah. Good fish. Good fish. Don't smile, bro. Don't smile, whatever you do. <laughs> <laughs> No, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't think of that actually. Oh, you're saying because I'm not looking at No, because you're just standing there like you're just having a shit day. <laughs> <laughs> Righto, guys, how good's this? Dad's got himself a cracking proserpine barra. It's beaten out of 95 centimetres, jigging up a soft bite. Um, it's a technique that I really wanted to sort of work out here because a lot of people do it. And I wasn't sure how it worked but basically dad was just little short twitches just kept rising that lure up and the fish just had no choice but to either eat it or leave it how's that dad pretty good solid fish in this place aren't they put up a good fight too eh? yeah <laughs> it really went hard so, yeah so anyway we'll get him back in the tree just over here it'll be fine don't know if you want to just spear him in even whatever you want to do well done, Dad. This is a man who taught me how to fish. Out here catching him a barra today, so I don't think you can beat it. Okay. Oh, 
got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Oh, Jesus, that's a big fish. <laughs> yeah. Coming this way. Oh. He's around. He's around a stick. He's around a bloody stick there somewhere. He's still there. He's just swimming along with me lure right now. God knows where he's going. Oh no. I don't even know which side of the tree he's on or anything. How the hell am I going to get those fish out of here? He's still there. I don't know where. Oh god. Yeah. I've got to get rid of this stick first because it's over it as well. Oh, Christ. I don't know where which way the line is. Oh, now. Look out! Look out! Oh, right. I'm sorry, it's only past there. He swam out. Oh, what am I on now? Oh, God. I've got him. I've still got him. He's out of here now! <laughs> <laughs> Get him out of here now, bloody open! How do you still hold on to that? Oh, look at him go! Oh, man, they've got some power! <laughs> oh, he turned and undone himself from that stick. Get up here, buddy. <laughs> These things are too much fun, Dad. Dead set. Oh, no. Got a bit of colour. Yes. Yeah. He's not as big as he looked when he jumped at it. Oh, he's deep. He's a good fish. He's heavy. Yeah. Oh. Lucky to get him out of there. Yeah, right. <laughs> he swam out himself. Yeah. He swam the right way around the stick. <laughs> oh, man. They are just too much fun, these things. He's going to go close to a metre. We'll get that lure out and put him in the live well and grab the camera. Well, how's that for a battle? That fish had me well and truly through those sticks there. 
Yeah, through that gap, around underneath another branch, I snapped another one off, and somehow the fish swam out all by himself. So, next thing I knew, the line was underneath the boat, and he's out the other side here in open water. So, pretty stoked to get him on board. I think he's going to go pretty close to a metre. He's a really, really deep fish. Just got him sitting in the well having a breather. We'll get the camera out, take some photos, give him a give you a look at him, and uh, we'll get him back in the water. You get it? Right on. Right on. Right on. Time to go. Look at him. Yeah, it's a bunch of a tape. Once they get going, the far out do they go. guys well that's going to do us for today's session um yeah pretty cruisy session really we didn't really get out of bed all that early we were on the road at 6 30 and up here on the water um just after 7 30 i suppose got our first fish at about 9 30 which is sort of i oh, probably might have even been about 10 o'clock i think i missed my first one about 9 30 first fish hit the deck at about 10 um, which was sort of the start of the bite period and they really ramped up there for a little while i think we had five bites all up so um that one there is the one that got away it's um been pinned on that belly treble there on just the one hook it had me around some sticks and i wasn't quick enough to back that drag off to to let him run he's pulled the hook so um He'd had it down pretty deep because all that line was fairly frayed and that one hook just wasn't enough to hold him. They, they're a powerful fish. They really are something else. I've never caught them in a dam like this before and um, yeah, it's been absolutely awesome to see them there. They really are a special critter and this is a pretty special place. So anyway, that'll do us for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again.